हेलो एवरीबडी दिस इज लव सच देवा फ्रॉम वी आई टी चेन्नई माई रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर इज नाइनटीन बी सी वन सेवन थ्री नाइन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फ्रिक्वेंसी डोमेन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड आई विल भी फोकसिंग मोर ऑन द डिस्क्रीट वेब लैंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो बिगनिंग माई वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू गिव अ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द फ्रिक्वेंसी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो फर्स्ट आई विल टेल यू डेट देर आर आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू डेट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वन इज स्पेशल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड वन इज फ्रिक्वेंसी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन अ स्पेशल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन what we do is we change the pixel values we apply the transformation on every pixel of the image but in the frequency transformation first we convert the image into a frequency uh, and then we apply that filter on a frequency based transformation and then after we get the uh, refined frequency we again uh, do the inverse frequency transformation to get the original image back so Uh, the most common use technique for the transformation is the fourier transformation so when we apply the fourier transformation uh, it is a pretty good and pretty easy uh, type of transformation but it has some obvious drawbacks since it frequencies more on since it emphasizes more on the frequency uh, according to the heisenberg uncertainty principle we can only focus on one of the two things either we can focus on the frequency resolution or we can uh, focus on the temporal resolution so the fourier transformation uh, emphasizes more on the frequency resolution so we have to find an alternative to work for the temporal resolution also so the wavelet transformation can be a very handy type of transformation for uh, that part like for to get the best of the both worlds it it also uh, emphasizes on the frequency resolution and it also emphasizes on the temporal resolution so uh, what wavelet transformation does is it uh, divides the image into signals and sub signals and then for the low frequency signals it focuses more on the uh, frequency resolution and for the high frequency si signals it focuses more on the temporal resolution so th this is a work around uh, which the wavelet transformation use to overcome the uh, drawbacks of the fourier transformation so how that works is basically uh, there is a uh, the image is transformed into a signal and then each signal is transformed into four parts uh, which first two parts and then other two parts like it uh, transforms it into a high frequency and low frequency and then it makes it parts and uh, in the both components like in the vertical component and the horizontal component and then it again uh, divides it into the low frequency and high frequency and after conversion it inverts back to the original image so like this is a simple representation i will show you so i have taken a image uh, which is a image of a dog and it is taken from an image data set so it is a rgb image first i will just show you the original image so uh, just a second so this is the original image and uh, this is the image which we have taken after that what it does is as i said you that uh, it it basically we have to like nothing is just one code we have to uh, obviously extract the details so the first line uh, in this part what we will do is we will Uh, apply the log transformation to get the details of each and every channel rgb channels so that we can uh, see the details better we can read the image better and then we will apply the transformation to it so this part basically what it does is refine the details after uh, implementing the log transformation so the image of which we get after the log transformation are this uh, this and this so these are the three images which we get from the log transformation it, it is of every channel rgb channel and after we combine these details uh, we can get this sort of image so this is the combination of all the images so this is after applying the log transformation so this is it and then after we get the details and everything correct uh, we can apply the discrete wavelength transformation on each and uh, component we get so the each component which we got we can apply the transformation in it it uh, applies it in the all the direction horizontal and vertical direction and also the diagonal direction so after that we combine all the three uh, components together to form an image 
so the benefit of that is like uh, the the pixels and the frequencies which are insignificant uh, they get crossed out and uh, the resultant is zero so this is how we can apply filtering to it also and we can use this feature also to compress the image so it uh, works in both ways we can also compress the image and we can apply filtering to it we can apply quite a bit of filtering to it we can uh, reduce the noise of the image using this so there is that so after we apply the discrete wave rate transform we will get uh, f uh, three images and after we combine all uh, we can get the final image just a second I'll show you. so horizontal component vertical component and diagonal component so there are the three components and after we average them out we get a new image uh, on which the discrete wavelength transformation is applied now we can use this to apply any filter and uh, once we have applied all the filters we can revert back by using the inverse wavelength transform or uh, anything to get the original image back so this was my video and also one thing more the code of the video the code i have used here uh, will be in the description box below so you can check it out there thank you so much